welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting and our weekly look back at the CBSI Hot Top 10 from six months ago. Um, this week we're looking back at the Hot Top 10 from October 12th, uh, 2018. And I'm recording this one a little earlier than typical. I'm recording this on uh, April 8th, 2019 because I will be at Star Wars Celebration later in the week and won't be able to record and get this posted if I wait that long. So, um, as always, this is the goal of this is just to look back at these books, try to understand what made them hot, try to understand if they were smart purchases so that going forward we can make good decisions about the books we invest in and the books we kind of let go. Um, so with that, we'll get into the list. It was kind of an interesting list this weekend. Weekend. Week in that... Um, some of these books don't have a lot of information. <laughs> um, and you'll understand what I mean here in just a second. So, uh, first up is uh, Cursed Comics Cavalcade, number ten or number one. It's in our number 10 slot this week. Um, this was obviously in the middle of October. This was a cool DC horror book that came out featuring some of DC's regular characters. Um, the cat is about to like... Okay, I thought she was going to knock something over. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so it jumped immediately from a $10 cover price to $20 the week it was released. Um, everybody was all over this book. Um, now this book can actually be had for 5 to $10, so less than cover price. Um, and 9 eighths are actually going for 35 to 50 which is not even hardly enough to get them slabbed. Um, just a book that there was enough of them out there. Really the only thing about it that made it hot at the time was that it was cool horror stories. During October, everybody was in the mood for them, I guess. Um, but there was nothing key other than it was DC doing a horror book, um, with its kind of big characters, which you don't see very often. Um, uh, although they got DC ceased, or deceased coming out here in a month or so so they're doing more they're doing another kind of horror zombie kind of thing but um so curse comics cavalcade didn't really hold its value um now doesn't even go for cover price so definitely was not a good investment um next up at number nine we have venom number seven uh the secret tongue variant and this is a book that was a secret variant people didn't know it was coming immediately jumped to $15 because just because of that. Um, thing is, since then, we've come to find out that it turned out to be the first appearance of Dylan Brock that has caused this book, and it appears that's where Donny Cates is going somewhere with this story, that Dylan is actually, uh, spoilers, Eddie's son, um, in some way or shape. Um, so this book has continued to gain momentum because of that. Um, it's now a $30, 30 plus dollar book. You can get it for as low as 30, but in case it goes for um, quite a bit more than that, raw. Um, nine eights are going for anywhere from 130 to 190 um, and everywhere in between. So there's been a lot, several sales and there's quite a bit of variation on how much the nine eights are going for. But basically you're looking at $150 to 160 for a nine eight of this book. Um, and it really has to do with more Donny Cates. Uh, he has definitely been the hot writer of this series that I've been doing. It seems like every week there's a Donny Cates book on here. And this week's no different. Um, and this is really being driven by this first appearance. A, it was a secret variant, so there was fewer of them. And B, a first appearance as well. So that's what's keeping this book hot. Uh, and number eight on the list is Nail Biter number one. Uh, this was another one of those rumors of... I, well, it wasn't rumors. It got optioned. And now whether or not it ever becomes a show, that's a different story, but it has been optioned. Um, then it was going for 15 to $20, and 9.8s were hitting 100 um, Now this book can be had more 10 to $15, um, with 9.8s typically going for 50 to 60 although one recently did go for as much as 90 But it was kind of an outlier. Most the other five or six that have went in the last... Um, month or so have all been in that 50 to 60 dollar range so i don't think there's been any announcements other than the original option announcement related to this book so it is definitely cooled and come back um to kind of where it was before so um next up at number seven on the list is dark avengers number one this is another book that 
not necessarily option news, but rumors that they might go with the Dark Avengers in the MCU going forward, um, that there might be a movie, um, caused this book to jump. Um, regular covers were going for 25 to 30. Uh, the Zajurjevich, uh, 1 in 20 cover was going for 60 to 70. Um, CBSI, both raw. Uh, CBSI warned at the time, the guy who writes the article warned at the time, you know, this is not a rare book. Uh, people were going crazy for it, but there's a lot of them out there. It's not a rare book. Um, now, basically, the regular cover is now going for 5 to $10. Um, and the Djurjevich is going in that 30 dollar range, although there was actually one listed um, for 19 when I looked, and there was a, and there hadn't been very many sales of the Djurjevich recently, um, but there was one currently listed for 19 uh, There was a, both covers listed for 35 um, so this book has definitely cooled off. Um, there have been no more, no official news related to Dark Avengers coming to the MCU. Um, nine eight of the regular cover going for thirty to fifty, which is basically what the the Raws were going for when this book got hot. Um, a nine eight of the the, the one in twenty cover is going for. There's only been one sale, uh, and that was way back in June <laughs> of a nine eight of that cover, and it was only sixty dollars. So that was even before the news. And I'm not sure it would go for much more than that now, given that there really hasn't been any follow-up to that rumor. Um, doesn't appear to be going anywhere, at least for now. This book is back to where you could, act, if you run into a copy of the Dark Avengers, you could get it. There are a lot of them out there. So, uh, now we move to number six on the list. And you remember I said something about a complete lack of information on a couple of these at the beginning. Uh, this is Tony Stark, Iron Man number four. The Scotty Young New York City Comic Con panel variant. And this was limited to 500 uh, copies at NYCC. And you had to actually be uh, in that panel to get one. Um, then right after the con, it was going for $75. Now, what, so what's going on now? I couldn't find one. I couldn't find any recent sales going back the last three months on eBay, which is as far back as it goes. Um, regularly, there's been no slab sales on Go Collect. There, not just was there no sales, there were no listings. Um, I couldn't find this book. Uh, it has disappeared. There's only 500 of them. Uh, the 500 people that got them apparently are holding on to them, at least for right now. Um, so this is a book if you really want to, if you're a Iron Man completionist or New York City Comic Con completionist or uh, Scotty Young completionist, uh, good luck. <laughs> this one's going to be hard to find. Um, my guess is you'll have to pay a pretty penny for it if it ever does come, become available. Probably more than it's probably worth paying for it, but um, it is a 1 in 500. It's super rare, but yeah, these are just... You just can't find them. So... Um, with that, we will move on to the top five. And at number five, we have Dread Final Judgment number one. Um, this is just fairly low print run and a really cool Jock cover. Um, people love Jock. He's a great artist. He does some really cool covers. If you've been following the Batman Who Laughs, or which I think they made a joke on that, that it was the Batman Who Laughs was on was the person on this cover. Um instead of dread but yeah you know he's been doing a lot of cool stuff and has for a long time um then right out of the gate it was a 20 dollars book uh now it is cool there's nothing else necessarily special about this book other than the jack cover um and has not maintained any momentum it's back to cover to ten dollars for this book and no slab sales that i could find yet um so obviously it was a new book in october you would have had to have like a meet almost immediately slab it for their and sold it for there to be much in the way of data there, and there just isn't yet. So, um, with that, we will move on to number four, and it is Exiles number nine, the Raza 1 in 25 variant. And this is basically relatively low print run book. Most shops didn't order 25. This is a 1 in 25 of that, and it is kind of a cool cover, and that's really what was driving this book, um, was just its scarcity. Um, you know, 
it jumped immediately to a $40 book. Uh, now this is another book where there's just not much information to go on. I could only find two recent sales in the last three months. A 9.8 went for 200. A raw copy went for just under 40. So still in that same range as when it first came out. Um, and I could only find one listing uh, on eBay and that was for $50. Um, so this is another book that's just kind of hard to find. Um, so not many of them out there. Low print, one in 25 on low print, cool cover. Um, so it has basically maintained that value it had out of the gate. And so that's where we're at with uh, Exiles number nine. And next up is number three on the list is Secret Six number one. Uh, this is basically, there was a rumor that Secret Six was coming to CBS. Um, that, uh, but since then, there have been no updates on whether or not this show was actually going to happen. All the articles I found on the internet were dating from this early October date uh, that caused this book to spike. Um, then very fine copies, were go raw copies were going for $30 to $40. Uh, 9.0s went for over $100 and up to like $160 uh, for the, like the first time. Uh, now the book is going for $5 to $10. Um, all the recent sales were in that $5 to $10 range. Although listings actually have it, depending on condition, anywhere from $6 to $50 um, for a raw copy. But they don't seem to be selling for most of those list prices at all. Um, most recent slab sale I could actually find at any grade was back in November, and it was an A5 that went for 100. Um, but really, there haven't, doesn't appear to be a lot of this book slabbed, and there haven't been many sales in the last several months uh, of slab copies at all. Like I said, the most recent one was in November. There was another one, even lower grade, that also went in November, but um, no, nothing higher than that. And there aren't a lot of high grade copies of this book on the census or just on the census period. So um, that was Secret Six, number one. Uh, number two on the list is another one of those Star Wars ratio variants. Uh, this is Solo number one, the film adaptation. And this is the Luke Ross uh, one in 50 variant. Again, just a high ratio Star Wars variant. Those Star Wars fans, as I know, are can be pretty rab rabid about their Star Wars books. And this book was going close to double ratio right out of the gate, 80 to $90. Um, it's kind of a cool cover, but I don't see anything about it that makes it that particularly special to me. And the prices seem to reflect that. It's dropped back to a 45 to $65 book. Um, the only, uh, there have been no slab sales. And, uh, okay, so, sorry, I fixed my note here. Um, there's only been two recent sales of this book of raw copies, and one was 45 and the other was 65. Um, and there's only one book listed currently on eBay. So this is another book without a lot of, a lot of information, and it's a 96 listed at 225. And there, but there have been no slab sales at all. The a slab is not sold on this for this book. Um, so there's just not a lot of these out there, but the value has still kind of come back closer to ratio as opposed to. Um, that double than it was when it first came out, just because the cover is nice, but it's not enough to really make this book blow up, I think. And um, not a lot of slab copies out there yet, and they're really and no sales to kind of give you any information. Um, and last this week at number one is God Country number one, and surprise, surprise, Donny Gates shows up again. Um, this is all. This book was all being driven by the. Announcement that Guide Country was being optioned um, and by Le Legendary Pictures and that Donny Cates was even going to write the screenplay. Um, so people were all over this book. This book exploded. Raw copies of this book were going for $150, um, which is maybe just a little insane. Um, since then, the movie's still happening. Donny Cates is still working on it, but a little bit of sanity has returned to God Country. It's a good book. Um, it definitely has some value. But now Raws can be had for 50 to $60. Um, and actually, the last couple of sales have been like uh, one through four or one through six. I forget now how many issues. Um, have been multiple issues and they've been going for 
50 to $60, including number one. Um, although number one still occasionally goes for more more than that, but that, most of those have been a couple months ago now. Um, recently, everything's been in that 50 to $60 range. Um, the last five uh, 9.8 sales have all been in the 120 to 140 range. Uh, previously, they were going for more like 160 to 180, uh, like back in January and February, early March. Um, but now they, they've cooled, the 9.8s have cooled as well. There's quite a few of them out there. And so book it still has a lot of value, but not quite the insanity that it had when they first announced that uh, they were making the movie and that Donnie Cates was actually attached to write it. Um, so that is the list for this week. As I said, there's what, one, two, three books on here that really didn't have much information just because there hadn't been a whole, there's not a whole lot of them out there. Um, not a lot here that I feel like has, you know, long-term value. Um, you know, you have a, a, like I said, you have three ghosts. Um, you have a couple books that were driven by their cover. Um, you have some rumors that don't appear to have panned out for Dark Avengers. Um, I mean, Venom number seven could be driven depending on, could continue to be a valuable book depending on what happens with the Dylan Brock storyline. Um, and God Country. So the two Donny Cates books maybe have the best potential. Obviously, Secret Six um, is an older book from 1968, but doesn't have a lot of value. Um, it's back down to being a 5 to $10 book for a 1968 book. So that's, you know, not a lot of desire that people are continuing to push that book. So that was this week's list. Um, hopefully nothing changes here in the four or five days between when I record this and when I post it. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will catch you next time.